Philip Danforth Armour. As a young man, he was expelled from college, and at age 19 then, with a few hundred bucks in his pocket, he joined the California Gold Rush. There he turned his few hundred dollars into $8,000 building sluices for the miners, the wood that channeled the water to their panning operations. He came back with his $8,000, which is worth about a million and a half in today's dollars, and he started a grocery and slaughterhouse business that eventually uh, was headquartered in Chicago. Philip Danforth Armour's slaughterhouse made a fortune selling meat to the army during the Civil War, and at the end of the Civil War, he correctly bet that prices would plunge at when the war ended, and he gambled in the commodities market and made another million dollars off of that. The Armours were also incredibly generous to charities. Philip Danforth Armour donated a million dollars to establish the Armour Institute in Chicago, which is still around. It's the Illinois Institute of Technology today. And then his health started to fail, so his son, Ogden Armour, dropped out of college and he took over the family business. Sales grew to almost a billion dollars. And then in World War I, the Armour uh, meatpacking facility was providing canned meat to soldiers around the world. And very soon, Jonathan Ogden Armour and his family were worth more than a hundred million dollars. In today's dollars, that's about one and a half billion dollars, making him the second wealthiest man in the United States. It's hard not to drive around town without seeing the influence of the Armour family. The Jonathan Ogden Armour mansion is now the core part of Lake Forest Academy. Lake Forest Academy was founded by uh, Presbyterians from Chicago. They wanted to build a school out in the country, so they founded Lake Forest Academy for boys, Ferry Hall Seminary for girls, and Lake Forest College for adults. In a 1947, an anonymous donor bought the property for $400,000 donated to Lake Forest Academy, and the following year the Academy moved here to the Armour Estate. So Jonathan Ogden Armour decided to build his estate here in Lake Forest and began buying up properties, and he eventually accumulated 1,200 acres and built this home on that 1,200 acres. And it took four years to finish. They started around 1904 and didn't finish until 1908. After World War I, though, meat prices plunged, and they lost their fortune. Uh, the company went $100 million in debt. Jonathan Ogden Armour thrown off the board of his own business, and by 1927 was nearly broke. He was down to $25,000 when he died. But Ogden Armour had invested in an oil company in Texas that held a patent on gasoline. And long before anybody saw the need for gas and oil, he did and kept pumping money into that business. And shortly after he died, the use of cars and gas uh, took off, and the patent was found to be incredibly valuable, worth about $30 million, and the family were rich again. That mentality of trying to accept more and more risk and make more and more money and not stopping at some point surprises me. Uh, I'm David Forlow. I'm the Vice President of the Lake Forest Lake Bluff Historical Society.